What's happening, fam? LA Y'all Movement Still Moving. The book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thanks everybody for supporting. This video is entitled Being Too Real or Too Rude. The reason I say that is because people say that they're real. And for some odd reason nowadays and in our community, being real is being a jerk, being rude to people. I'm just being real. No, you're being real ignorant right now. So let me get this right. See, when you're real, I don't know how real transform into being rude, but real was initially this person is down for you. This person has your back. This person makes sacrifices for you. This person is patient with you. This person will, you know, correct you when you're wrong, you know, in a loving manner. But if it got to get unloving, they'll do that too. But this person will, um, you know, will, will, will in some ways be looked at a person who, is, who would step in front of a bullet for you. That was real. Somebody who took care of you when you were sick. You know, somebody who looked out for you when you needed a friend. You know, somebody who, who fed you when you were hungry. You know, somebody who took you into consideration. And, and, and no matter what your circumstances was. You know, if you didn't have money they had, and, and they had some, they'll share what they had with you. They, because they were being real with you. They they didn't want you to go without if they had it. Right? Now it's morphed into you know cuz I can cuss you out. You know, I'm going to give you a piece of my mind in the most negative way possible. Um I want to show you that I'm domineering or something like that. Or I want to Exude power over you in some form or fashion. Or, you know, I'm more violent than you. Oh, I have a better criminal mind than you. That makes me real. You know, I'm, I can be high and drunk in public, and that makes me real. Which is, um, Ridiculous, you know. People used to be real because they they were able to be vulnerable, and take whatever came, whether it was positive or negative. And now people are um, not vulnerable, and but they're more so um, dysfunctional. And proud of it. So now I'm proud that I'm dysfunctional. I'm real. I'm being too real because I'm so dysfunctional. It's, I'm extra real. Extra, 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 extra real. You know. And you can't handle it. But you know. This is the idea that when people say. Uh, you know. I'm just being raw. I'm just being authentic. It's funny how being raw and authentic. Now has turned into not being able to control yourself or not being able to conduct yourself as an adult. I, you know, what I am is an embodiment in action of all the inner turmoil that everybody else is going through or I assume everybody else is going through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to act a fool. So that's real. Everybody here wants to act a fool like me. See, no, not really. No, I don't. Everybody just wants to cuss and throw a tantrum and throw stuff and, you know, and, and, and kick a dog over the bridge like, like an anchor man or whatever. You know, that's how I roll. That's being real. Or being reckless and fearless. You know, don't you smoke weed in public in front of the police? You ain't real. That's real stupid. Like if you was a superhero, you'd be super stupid. You know, let's let's get drunk and drive and 
and and and, and um, almost cause an accident. That's that's real. I'm really living right now. You're really stupid. You know. Let's be real. And I was telling my homeboy, well, my homeboy, I was on the phone with him over the weekend. I'm driving to a restaurant. Excuse me. And as I'm driving, this guy tries to race me on the freeway. I'm on the phone. Like I'm speaking on the phone in the car. And I hit his engine. Blah, 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 blah. And I just happen to look over. So and, when I, and he rolls down the window and he sticks his arm out. <laughs> now we're on the freeway. This is not a time of day where the freeway is like empty. Like, we doing 60, 70 miles an hour. Cars is all around. So this guy acts like he wants to race. He got the racing tires on the back. And I'm looking like, I'm guessing you think this is real. Like, if I would actually race you in the middle of traffic, so to the point where one of us will probably actually be dumb, you know, dumb enough to take that race and wind up smashing into another car or... You know, the or the or the uh, the concrete wall get pulled over by the cops for reckless driving because he just wanted to be real. But then I told my homeboy while I was driving, I looked over, I said, "Man, this Mexican cat like 350 pounds. I should pull over to him and challenge him to a foot race since he so since he want to be so real. Let it, let him catch a heart attack. Like, yeah, you want to race? Let's go. Let's go. Uh huh." <laughs> And I and I walk off. I walk off. You should, <laughs> shouldn't erase me. <laughs> you die. So I'm killing them out here. Anyway, the reason I'm saying that is because when we think being real is something that is reckless, that can endanger other people, that's not real. That's just really dumb. And, and to go about life like that, you know, uh, part of the situation of I let my, when, when people are even kill, you say they, they're being fake because they're not letting their emotions control them. But you saying you're being real because when you, when your anger's on 10, you act like that. When you're, when, when you're happy, you act, all your ranges of emotions control you in Every circumstance is to the point that sometimes you got to hold in your anger and sometimes you got to hold in your pain and sometimes you got to hold in your joy, you know, and sometimes you just got to chill out in the moment and you feel like, you know, acting, just being in your feelings all the times becomes an issue. And I'm just being real. No, you're being immature. Because there's a time and place for everything. See, when you're real, you understand that there's a time and place for everything. When, you, when you're too real, you understand, you know, sometimes just being a stand-up person rubs people the wrong way because that takes a lot more effort than being real nowadays, which means rude. Because it doesn't take it much effort to be too rude nowadays. It doesn't take effort to just, you know, b flow with the wind. You know, I'm this and I'm that. Because here's the thing. When you're being real, you're paying it forward. You know, you're sowing seeds in society that you might not even reap the benefits from, but you want them out there. But when you're being so real, as in too rude, you're causing mischief and destruction everywhere you're going. And when you're causing mischief and destruction everywhere you're going, and you're saying that's being real, you're just spreading around chaos. And, you know, that's just supposed to be okay. And, and the thing about when you're too, when you're being real, people come back to you. When, you, when you're being too rude, People come to get you. And and that's the difference. Like people respect you when you're actually too real. 
but people want a piece of your head when you're too rude. So you know the difference between being too real and being too rude because you're missed when you're too real. You won't be missed when you're too rude. So we out. Like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.